Hi, welcome to TheBakingShow.com. I'm Renee. And I'm Karen. And, you know, we've been asking our viewers to share your family recipes with us or your favorite recipes. So today we thought we would share with you some of ours. So Karen has a wonderful recipe she's going to share with us today. I do. This is our grandma's chocolate cake. In fact, it's my husband's family's chocolate cake. When grandma used to come out for a visit, she would bring this special chocolate cake recipe that the family absolutely loved. So uh, I've got this 30-year-old handwritten recipe that we're going to draw from today and share the recipe with you. Grandma did this recipe in three steps. She would measure two cups of sugar, two cups of sifted flour, and a pinch of salt in one bowl. In a saucepan, she would melt two sticks of butter, four tablespoons of cocoa, and one cup of water, but we're going to put it in the microwave. And then she would add a half a cup of buttermilk, two eggs slightly beaten, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, Karen, so let's get started. Tell me what to do. We're going to put the dry ingredients into the mixer, okay, and I'm going to melt the butter, the cocoa, and the water together in the microwave. Perfect. Okay, so our mixture is melted. Yes. We have the dry ingredients in here. Mm -hmm. What's next? We just need to start adding the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. So I'll go ahead and pour this in. If you turn the mixer on, then we'll uh, get that mixed up well and start the next four wet ingredients. Gotcha. So now we add the eggs, and we add the buttermilk the vanilla, and the baking soda. And we beat that all up. Yes. All right, here we go. Batter's mixed. What goes next? Very simple. We just pour it into the greased pan, and we bake it at 375 for 25 minutes. So, Renee, you'll notice that this is a very thin batter. It is. And that's how it's supposed to be. Okay. But it will, uh, it will bake into a nice, dense consistency for the cake. You know, Renee, my uh, brother-in-law had a pizza shop yeah. for a period of time, and he sold this cake uh, on the side, and it actually became more popular than the pizza. Wow. Yeah. Renee, this is a very fast and easy, old-fashioned blender recipe for icing. This is what Grandma always used. Uh, so we use a quarter cup of boiling water, six ounces of chocolate chips, four egg yolks, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a stick of butter. We're just going to blend that all together. Okay, so this has raw eggs in it. It does indeed, yes. All right. Uh, so we survived it for years and years, <laughs> but everyone just needs to know that you know, they are raw and you have to be careful with that. All right, let's pop it in the blender. Okay, good. So we'll start with that boiling water. We'll add the chocolate chips, the egg yolks, I'll let you hold that for just a All second. Right. We'll the vanilla and the soft butter at room temperature. Okay, so this butter is already soft. Yes, it is. All right, we're going to fire up the blender and we'll show you what it looks like. So depending on the, how strong your blender is, you can see that the mixture emulsifies and turns into icing pretty quickly. You just have to keep the, the blender going until you get this really nice creamy consistency. Wow, that does come out really Isn't creamy. Isn't that great? Yeah. yeah, and there's you know, basically mm -hmm. no lumps. So it's yeah. good. So this will self-level. We just put okay. it straight onto the cake, uh, spread it all around, uh, and no need to get fancy with trying to put curly cues or anything in the icing because it's just going to be... You know, pretty plain and simple flat icing on the top. Okay, now you put this on when the cake's warm. I do. I, I okay. cool it a bit uh, so mm -hmm. that it doesn't just completely melt once you put it on the cake. Okay. But, um, yeah, just uh, make sure that the icing is room temperature by the time you get it emulsified and on here. And you have a delicious, moist chocolate cake. And how long before you cut it? Can you cut it right away or you got to let it sit? I would let this set just a little bit, maybe five, ten minutes. That's oh. all. Wow, mm -hmm. that's fast. Yep. Renee, this is the finished product. Mm, it looks wonderful. Yes, a really tasty and a great dish to take for a potluck because it's fully contained in one dish, cake, icing, you cut it, eat it straight That's on. a great idea. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to carry all the accessories. <coughs> Want to taste it? I would love to. <laughs> Let's just cut a nice little square here. Ooh, it looks nice and moist. It is. It's moist and dense and holds its shape pretty well. Oh. Okay. Want to mm. dig in with the Yes, I do. So this is one of those hidden recipes we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Old family recipes that everybody has used for years and everyone mm -hmm. loves and has um, oh, requested. Mm -hmm.